everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Katie. I'm so excited to have you here on my channel today. We're going to be making a holiday wreath, but it's a little bit different than usual. It's kind of non-traditional because we're making a chunky knit wreath. So I'm making it out of chunky yarn, but you don't need any knitting tools or anything like that. It's super cozy looking and it's really good if you're more into like a Nordic or neutral style decor. This is definitely for you. I'm all about that this year, um, incorporating sort of like non-traditional decor in and then just sprinkling in little bits of red and green. So if you're also into that, this is going to be perfect for you. And the best part about this, as always, is you can customize it depending on your decor style. So let's hop right in to the DIY. For this project, you'll need some chunky yarn. Mine actually wasn't that chunky. You could go thicker with this, but this is what I could find. And I decided to triple up the strands that I used. So I measured out three strands of yarn that were each 225 inches long. This was for a 12 inch wreath hoop. I actually ended up being a tiny bit short, so you could go longer on this. To get started, I made a loop at the end by just crossing the ends of the yarn under the rest of itself, and then I held the ends down, put my fingers through the loop that I created, and pulled the rest of the yarn through, creating another small loop. Then I simply put my hands through that loop, pulled the yarn through again, and created another loop. And this is literally the entire process. You just have to continue creating loops, and then pulling the yarn through, then creating another loop, pulling the yarn through, and you just do this over and over, this repetitive process until you reach the end. It is so simple, and you'll begin to see this braided pattern here. I would recommend practicing this with some shorter pieces of yarn first, just to get the process down so that you feel comfortable with it and so that it looks the way that you want it to, because even here, my first few didn't look as good as the rest, so it's just a matter of kind of getting a feel for it and seeing how it works and how big you want to make the loops, etc. Once you've reached the end of your yarn, then you can just sort of adjust it, adjust the braid, just like you would a braid in your hair. You can make sure that all the pieces are even and that everything looks nice and tidy. As for the ends, you can leave them as is for now and we'll take care of those in a little bit. So this is the 12 inch wreath hoop that I'm using and I'm just going to attach the yarn to it using some hot glue. So I carefully placed it on just to make sure that it fit and like I said, it was a tiny bit short, but I already had plans to cover that up before I started, so it wasn't a big deal. Next, I used some hot glue to carefully glue the yarn right over the hoop so that it would not be visible. You could probably use different types of glue, but for me, the hot glue worked well. It stuck really well to the yarn and that stuck really well to the hoop. I don't think it's going anywhere. It felt very secure. Continue gluing it in sections and just sort of adjusting it as you go so that you make sure that it's all going to be even and that everything is going to be nice and covered and nice and neat and tidy. As for the ends of the yarn, I decided to tie a knot with the leftover pieces and then just cut it off and glue it down. And I did this because I didn't want it to start falling apart at any point, so I just tied that knot and glued it so that the edges wouldn't fray or start to become undone. So this is like the bare bones of the wreath and I wanted to add a little bit of embellishment. So I had some faux eucalyptus and some red Christmas berries. And I just wanted to add in a little bit more of a pop of traditional Christmas colors. So I crossed over two pieces of eucalyptus over each other and then I added in the little winter berries. And you could hang this up as is, like with the decoration on the bottom, or you could turn it to the side to make it more asymmetrical. And I styled it a couple of different ways so that you can see. Okay, I just think that is so cozy and different. I'm already thinking about making a few other ones. I think it would be really pretty to add in like wood beads or fresh eucalyptus again if you're going for that Nordic style. But let me know what you guys do. If you do try it out, make sure you tag your photos on Instagram so that I can see them. I love it when you guys do that. I hope you guys are excited to see more holiday videos because I'm just getting started. I have so many coming in the next few days. So just keep an eye out for that. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out. And I'll leave a playlist right here with some of my favorite Christmas videos that I've ever done. I've done a few really good ones over the years. So make sure you check that out and I'll see you over there.